Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming with a brand new Road to Glory and Road to 100 Goals, where we try to get Victor Barbo to that 100 goal mark, and we try to get ourselves into Division 1. But this title of this video is going to be called The Rust is Real, because if you guys don't know, you've probably seen a video saying I was on holiday, so, and I've said it in previous videos. So this is my first game of FIFA in around three weeks, and sorry I have to adjust my headset, it was a tiny bit uncomfortable, so obviously this is my second game, uh, apart from the single player World Cup game, but obviously realistically i should have gone for a practice match but i wanted to record a video for you guys so i was like you know what i'll do one today and also apart from that bs which your hand is in your head and that game actually did finish one nil and we don't lose a lot in this series and i did have chances in this game but as you guys already know if you've watched several episodes of this series i only show the goals not the chances so, yeah, but what you usually do is play a few practice matches, single player tournaments before you go into the competitive seasons. In those seasons, people say it's really competitive. Isn't that competitive if you compare it to League Play or Clan vs Clan in CODs or League of Legends? Seasons in FIFA isn't that competitive. So I would actually like something competitive more competitive in FIFA. I know there's a FIFA Interactive World Cup, but you could argue that Ultimate Team's an arcade game and it should stay that way. But apparently his connection just went and he disconnected. So I just thought I'd show that because it is the Road to Glory. I'm supposed to show almost every step. So I thought I'd show it because everyone's fitness did return apart from Ibarbo's because he was still a bit tired huffery and puffery and yet yeah, we didn't get any result for that which was lucky but contracts went down and that so it's coin still to be honest but we are actually playing in our blue kit for this game and I went off my train of thought a lot there I just realized and yeah practice games always have practice games before you play it's very very important because you don't want to end up like doing bad and getting paid for it but I was really motivated to record it's actually the one reason why I wanted to get back home to record videos probably one of the highest reasons apart from the internet being slow so yeah I can't live without my computer it's fact and here I obviously bit at what he was doing anticipated lightly a bit rusty as you say obviously you can make it as an excuse, but it's still the case, kind of, but you still got to take responsibility. Like, when you shake hands, you don't say to him, I am played for a week, because it's like unsportsmanwise ship thing. So, it's just to remember that in gaming, you still need to have that etiquette when playing players. And I lost, it's my fault, there's still more things I could have done. It doesn't matter if I am played for a year. I, there's still things you could do to beat your opponent but El Shirari gets the lucky goal and I felt that goal was very important for the rest of the episodes and this is a free game episode and a pretty long episode actually but I make a crucial mistake there I didn't think he was going for the slide tackle so I could have had a shot off but I don't know really know how Paul Pogba's shot is but DKT isn't the fastest person in the world in every other aspect he's good if he had let's say four or five more pace he would be everyone would want him because he's very solid in the air if you compare him to Caceres the Akete is a lot bigger a lot stronger but Caceres has that pace but next episode what I will promise is I will sign players and I don't know if I mentioned this but today is the day I'm starting to upload two videos to a day I believe this will be the first Wednesday so later today there will be a challenge video up I am recording this Monday but I won't talk about what video is gonna come next because the case is it might not be like that because if I say I don't want to upload 14 videos a week then it might be the case but that was actually a really good passing move 
cutback doesn't really matter it was still a great passing move like his fullback went funny as it always does in this game it's something that desperately needs to be fixed but the way EA is because they don't have much development time on the new game if you think about it they only have a year but here we get a penalty and no we actually get a free kick that goes against us yes Yes, I said that right. We had a free kick that goes against us. So instead of us tapping it in and the player completely taking it down, we actually lost that game. Oh no, drew that game, drew that game to all. But to be honest, any kind of result after you've not played for a while is a good result. Felt I could have beat that guy, but like I say in FIFA, you always feel you can do better. But putting the contracts on all of these players... Because, why not? So they've not been doing badly. This team has been doing not shabby so far. Could be improved in certain areas, but I'm going to do upgrades for the next episode, as I believe it is a necessary requirement. But here we come up against a good, pretty much a 4 3 five, two side with the centre mids being centre mids. <laughs> with the, I meant to say defensive mids being centre mids. But all well, but Suarez... On the ball, I try to pass it first time, but at times you just need to pass it back to the keeper. It's probably the safest option and what people don't do enough. But he crosses it in. It's Abate v Cahill, which I think they should have something in where the tallest players mark the, the tallest players and kind of like that. Because it's an unfair battle if you've got... Um, Abate v Cahill it's just not fair because you can cross the ball into Cahill every single time of the day and score but here it this goal was just a mess because I thought pass it first time it's likely to get messy a barber shoots he doesn't score but Edison actually controls that then shoots so it was a good goal but I obviously didn't mean it because I just wanted to shoot first time to be fair but maybe that's something they need to improve on but I would say FIFA is one of the toughest games to control or mechanic, I guess. Because so many things can go wrong. You've got to get the player movements realistic. So it is a very hard job and it will always have errors. So it's just keeping it as smooth as possible. And in my opinion, not having so many features that it can bug up the system. Because it seems like they're trying to make it as light football as possible, which will never happen unless... Well, it won't happen in 100 years, I can tell you that much. But they're doing their best, I guess. But I would like them to see more features, like look, similar to the World Cup. But he gets a lucky goal there, but Aguero's Aguero, he's got a good shot on him. And as you can hear, the music has started it started a second ago which means a skill goal is inbound but this one isn't really a skill goal because victor Abarbo hasn't scored in this episode yet which is a tiny bit rare but he skills david Luiz. in we go outside for in and i was relieved when i scored this because if you think about it i was one nil first game two wall it was two one I was kind of thinking, two losses, one draw. Ew, this isn't going to be a good episode, is it? But luckily, I am making my name for myself. And Isla on the ball. Edison just holds the ball. Well, actually, he does a nice skill. But luckily gets the ball back. And I think that was Muriel who blocked off David Luiz. Which gave Isla enough space to score. So you could argue that would have been a free kick. Harsh, because I was in no control, so it wouldn't have been skill-based at all, but that is the case, and it's getting close to the end of the episode, so if you're liking it, like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff, and I'm also going to try to look into intro music for my channel, but Edison ships it over, relief, I won a game, which is brilliant, so it's been Buddy Mark and Alfie. see you guys.